Hello everyone, such a joy to be together with you and look at God's word which enlightens us, strengthens us, gives us the insights we need to live life the right way. We are talking about humility and we've seen from Philippians 2 that the Lord Jesus, though he was the son of God, he walked in humility. He did not boast about his deity. Instead, he walked in submission to the Father. He humbled himself and he accomplished the purpose of God for his life, humbling himself even to the extent of dying on a cross. And today we will talk about um, the importance of humility in maintaining unity. Even before uh, Paul talks about the Lord Jesus and his walk of humility, so he enlists a couple of things for the believers and he uh, tells them that for them to be able to live in oneness of heart, they have to um, walk in humility with one another. And in explaining that, he goes forward and talks about the humility of Jesus. There are many such passages in God's word that encourage us to walk in humility. And this in our relationships will help us maintain uh, the bond of peace and the bond of unity. Let's look at a couple of scriptures, Romans 12 and verse 3, which says, For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Now, as we interact with people and engage with people, it's important to hold them in high esteem just the way we hold ourselves in high esteem. We are self-aware of our identity and we, especially as believers, know that in Christ Jesus so much has been uh, done for us. But when we consider others, we need to honor others in the same way and know that the Lord Jesus has paid the price for them as well and that each one uh, is now in Christ Jesus and shares the same identity of being redeemed, being saved, uh, being victorious in Him. And so when we uh, interact and relate with one another, we must consider the interests of others just as much as we consider our own interests. Uh, and in this way, we will be able to uh, walk in unity with one another. Uh, when something is put forward, for, for us to um, consider the other person and their opinion as important uh, is, is very crucial. When we do not do that, uh, it is as if you know, we are uh, prideful and that you know, we don't really have a listening ear for anyone else but us. But that shouldn't be the case. The Apostle Paul encourages the believers to, to uh, hear one another out and also to come to a place of unity because a place of unity is so important. When we walk in unity, scriptures tell us that God commands a blessing on us. When we walk in unity, the enemy will not be ha able to have inroads you know, into our fellowship. Uh, and so as the body of Christ, as the people of God, we need to maintain that bond of peace and that bond of unity. And that will only come when we esteem one another uh, highly, even to es esteem one, uh, others greater than us uh, and be humble enough to hear one another out. So let's um, strive to maintain unity. Let's strive to uh, relate with one another with respect. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for these pearls of wisdom. Lord, we know uh, no matter how simple, oh God, uh, these principles will help us live a victorious life. So uh, cause us, Father God, to to walk in these truths and help us, Father, to see your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.